Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. In Revelation chapter 4, verses 2 and 3, is the description of the throne of God as revealed to John as he was in the Spirit, as we see in Revelation chapter 4, verse 2, quoting from the New King James Version. What he saw on the throne is described in appearance uh, in Revelation chapter 4, verse 3 as, And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardis stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. A jasper in appearance is as defined by Merriam-Webster as red, yellow, or brown opaque quartz. Quartz is defined by the same as a common, often transparent, crystalline mineral that is a form of silica. We go further, silica, also defined by Merriam-Webster, is a mineral that consists of silicon and oxygen. Silicon is defined by Merriam-Webster as a non-metallic chemical element that occurs in combination as the most abundant element next to oxygen in the Earth's crust and is used especially in alloys and semiconductors. An alloy is a substance composed of metals melted together, says Merriam-Webster, but also is further described as a mixture that lessens value. So in the definition of silicone, we would not expect it to be present or presented to us in the form of an alloy, but possibly the other form as a semiconductor. A semiconductor, as defined by Merriam-Webster, is a substance whose electrical conductivity is between that of a conductor and an insulator. So, by definition and in reference to, to God, describes him as one who is able to allow things to take place, a conductor, and one who is able to not allow things to take place, an insulator. Taken into the context of the Almighty is an explanation of his omnipotence, being in total control, having unlimited authority or influence, Almighty, as defined by Merriam-Webster. Continuing then, a Sardis stone is traced to Carnelian and is defined by the Zondervan Illustrated Bible Dictionary as being composed of silicon dioxide, but chalency does not crystallize into the bold hexagonal forms taken by quartz. The color pattern is similar, if not the same as that of jasper. With this in the full array of the color pattern of the red, yellow, and brown, but jasper is also said to have shades of many colors. This is very interesting as the rest of this verse, Revelation chapter 4 verse 3 states, and there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. This rainbow would not be in appearance as that in which we see after a rain, as described in Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 through 17, as a covenant between God, Noah, and all creation from that point on after the flood, declaring, Thus I establish my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood. Never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. The rainbow is described in Revela as described in Revelation chapter 4 verse 3 is a rainbow that shines out from the throne of God in every and all directions. Similar as for us to comprehend as the sun shines on all the earth. So does the full array of the rainbow shine out from the throne of God. This is a description of the fullness and completeness of the omnipotent God of heaven, who is always in full control and splendor. I find it amazing that the definitions listed above of the biblical description of God sitting on his throne reveal to us the modern definitions that are historically eternal. This is not by accident or coincidence, no. God does these things with purpose so that we may comprehend his majesty and omnipotence today as it was some 2,000 years ago when this was written by the apostle 
and God's faithful servant, John. Dear Lord, the revelation of Jesus Christ is so that we may know of your greatness and omnipotence. Please let the rainbow that shines from your throne, from your being, be a covenant with us as it was with Noah, of your omnipotence in who you are and of who we are in your great plan of salvation for humanity. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We now have closed captions in over 20 different languages. Look to see if your preferred language is one of them.